Hello and welcome to another update video about Aave. Aave is my favorite crypto chart at the moment. Um, as you maybe realized, and I also oftentimes talk about this, um, because it is one of the best charts out there at the moment. You know, it's got potential. It shows a wave one to the upside. It shows a wave two to the downside. It did so far reverse here in the larger reversal area. Throughout this period here that happened in end of September, we waited for one more dip which then also occurred. Um, I bought the dip here yeah, at $67, which is amazing um, because we followed the analysis, right? I made you all aware on Telegram, Discord, but even here in the in the video videos, I made you aware that I bought. Um, we then did rally around, what was it? Yeah, around 30% in what, 10 days? Um, and yesterday here at the top pretty much at around, I think it was $87 or 88, 80, 87, $88. I took profits of Aave, yeah, took my first profits um, and we're now coming down. So my hope is actually that this wave one is already finished and that we're now coming down in wave two. So if we zoom out, yeah, as you will remember, if I've, you know, if you've been following this channel, we've been talking about this being a wave one and that we would come down into the wave two target area, which, which also happened and that we would ideally reverse in this area, but that a drop below $60 would make this bullish scenario quite unlikely. Now what happened, we did reverse, which is good, which is, you know, an indication that Aave is following the elite waves at the moment, which, which is, which is a good sign because it means that also going forward, it should adhere quite nicely to the wave count. Now, if we then look here at those subwaves, we said that here, Aave put a wave one in, the first impulse, and the wave two. This was the next entry point, that wave two. Then we said, okay, we are in a wave three, coming down in a four, that could have been another entry point for anybody who wants to trade a wave five. And we did hold support in wave four, and we're moving up in wave five. So five waves to the upside. Then, however, this was only three, as you can see, then I said yesterday that we might have done a wave four here and could be pushing up in a fifth wave, but didn't really see it. So I took profits yesterday and said, well, maybe we only get three waves and it's going to fail. Yeah, or it's a truncated wave five. So profit taking is what I do. Yeah, realized I think it was 40 or 50% of my RV position. And because uh, sometimes they do fail at three waves. So I think from a from a risk point of view, for me, it's always quite attractive to take profits already end of the third wave, because sometimes they fail, you only get an ABC or whatever, or you put a truncated wave five in, and you don't get the five waves up. Yeah. So my view is at the moment that this is the case, we put a truncated five in, because what is the alternative? The alternative is that the wave four is currently happening. A second. That the... Um, that wave four is still happening and wave five is still pushing, still coming. But then it would have to be a diagonal pattern that's less likely. But even if there is another wave five up, yeah, it would come down afterwards. So for me, it made sense to take some profits, made you all aware on Telegram and Discord. Um, and now it's coming down and it hasn't broken the trend line yet. So at the moment, I'm still giving it a chance to rally once more in this wave five, but it's looking like for me quite impulsive. Okay, if it's an ABC, it would be impulsive to the downside, but it should really stop now. Yeah, it should really stop now. If it breaks below that trend line, I think we are coming down. And then support would be in this wave two area. And if I draw the fibs, then we have to assume that wave one was finished and wave two is currently unfolding. Um, and if we break it here and the break would be sort of be below 30, uh, 8330, so pretty much where we are now, um, then I would assume that we come down really into this area between 77.65 and $70.44. Um, and for me, the strategy is simple. It is just purely scaling in, in this wave two area after profit taking yesterday. And again, I will do it in a way that I take um, a smaller position up there and then a larger position down there closer to support. So basically three buy order set and then support is somewhere below the 78.6% FIB level because, um, you know, this could also fail. You know, we don't want to guarantee anything. There is no guarantees in this market, 
<clears throat> but I don't mind I don't mind scaling in in a wave two with the profits that I took up here just to sort of wait for the wave three to the upside. At the moment, as long as it follows the path, it's my favorite crypto chart. You know, in this market environment, this can fail. This can go the other way around easily. Yeah, but as long as it's holding support levels, key support levels, I'm happy with it. And that's why I set a stop loss, because if it loses key support, then I want to be out. But so far it's working out. I'm quite pleased that I took profits yesterday. Again, if it rallies once more, not a big deal. I might take, take more profits and then it will come down um, anyway. Yeah. And um, yeah, looking good at the moment. And um, this is looking like a uh, ascending broadening wedge, as I just explained. And what we also saw here is a bearish divergence on the four hour chart. They are making higher highs on the price chart, but a lower high on the RSI is also always some kind of a warning that we might be coming down here. Okay, that's a quick update about Aave. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.